I have been seeing people on the internet and some on the news that have been making HHO or Brown's gas from water to use as a fuel source. Having done my experiments with used cooking oil and having success with that, I have decided to embark on the quest to make a car run purely on water. Here is the first experiment, a proof of concept, that turned out to be a good preliminary test. Okay, what we have here is a homemade HHO generator. Basically designed this thing and came up with it and decided to build it, built it with a mason jar, southern style. And uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to get this thing bubbling and I want to prove what the heck there is coming out of it. Uh, see if this whole HHO thing is a joke, or if it's a hoax, or or if it's really true. Can you make water burn? I don't know. So that's what we're going to do. First off, it is definitely bubbling. As you can see, it's cooking along. Now how well it's going to do, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. We have gone a couple of minutes now. It's pretty obvious that the gas coming from the jar is filling the rubber glove. So this ought to be interesting. And then what we have to do is see what happens with the whatever it is that's in the rubber glove, if it's actually a flammable gas or not. As you can see, the rubber glove has built up quite a bit of pressure in it. And it's probably ready to, for me to extract it and see what happens. Okay, folks, here's what we've got. I guess the next thing to do is uh, try to light it on fire and see if it ignites. Okay, here we go. See what it does. Don't worry, Anchor. Okay, I guess what's in it is flat. Okay, this time around we got a slightly better seal. So we're getting a slightly bigger glove. We're going to try it again. But uh, I'm going to do a little, put a little tire goop around some of the seals on the jar. And that's doing very good now. Uh, I'd say it's uh, probably at the point now where it'll probably pop off of there and fly away. So we're probably going to stop it now. Right. Okay, this time we got the glove inflated a little further. And instead of using a cigarette lighter, which was getting, uh, which was getting unlit, uh, blown out, we're using a propane torch on this thing to see what happens. So I'm about as close as I want to get to it. So here we go. Oh, and I got that on video. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh-huh. <laughs> 